Paradha, good morning, everybody. Uh, pleasure to be with you. Um, I'm always worried which, which uh, epitaph is uh, read out to you at some point because it depends where I am. Uh, they usually mention the football team I support as well, which uh, sometimes gets a boo and sometimes gets a cheer. But uh, it's great to be with you this morning and, uh, and delighted that uh, now I'm the Minister for Natural Resources, I think I can take a little bit of credit for the weather uh, and, uh, and welcome along today. We are uh, extremely fortunate to be uh, in Wales, surrounded by such a, a wealth of natural resources. It was great to hear Sean and, and the, uh, the excellent uh, presentation that I caught uh, just then about uh, the opportunities we have in Wales to work together, to uh, exploit and protect at the same time about uh, and, and use for opportunities, the, the, the energy uh, uh, opportunities that we, that we, that we all in, uh, uh, are keen to exploit here in Wales. If we harness this correctly, we've got the uh, wind, wave, tidal resources, we can play a major role in energy security and our ambitions of re uh, achieving a low carbon future for Wales. That's one of my passions and I drive this very hard within my department to see what more we can do. Early days for me, September I was appointed and I came from a, a, an interesting background of local government and communities, uh, housing division, uh, into natural resources and I, I must say, and I don't think uh, I should never be embarrassed about this, I'm, I'm still learning and you help me learn on a day-to-day -day basis. I've, I've just come from a, a fantastic visit in Pembroke Dock now where again there's, there's so much enthusiasm and opportunity to build on the expertise that we hold here within Wales uh, and being a world leader in these technologies. As Minister for Natural Resources, I'm now responsible for ensuring resources are, are used sustainable uh, now and for future generations. And I think uh, what we've tried to do, and I, I've articulated that through a, a piece of legislation that we took through only last week uh, with Future Generations and Wellbeing Bill, where we can balance uh, that the theory where uh, the, the economy is versus uh, the environment is an old argument. Actually, they can be together and we can use them together and drive that agenda very successfully. So the green growth agenda for me is certainly high for my department and certainly for this Welsh Government. This, along with improving our economic and social environmental well-being duties uh, for communities, is something that I think we all have ambition for. I grew up in North Wales, as you can tell by Sean and my accent. We're not, uh, we haven't got very broad Welsh accents, but certainly I'm a Welsh boy through and through. And I, uh, my uh, industrial background uh, as a firefighter in, in locally, um, and my politics was, was developed from the industrial area I grew up in in the uh, uh, mid 80s when the steelworks and court halls were uh, big on the agenda. Everybody that I knew either worked there or had family members in them areas closed it over, overnight effectively and that drove me politically but also uh, looking at uh, uh, we had to become very nimble and, and look for new opportunities and I think uh, this agenda the, the green growth agenda is something that we've moved uh, move into and I think we should embrace this it's a great opportunity for Wales and we should be we would be foolish if we didn't do all we could to embrace that UK's uh, the 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 changes certainly that I see in, in, in North Wales with uh, renewables with North Hoyle, uh, the UK's first off offshore wind, wind farm, celebrating 10 years of operation in, uh, in the wonderful Welsh uh, sunshine most of the time. Uh, but that's a, a great example of what we can do if we, if we do work together. And it's great to see uh, Jim from, from Port of Austin here. I, in, in, the, in the great crowd, I can see Jim towering above many people, but it's uh, great to see you with us today too. I feel very comfortable with the boy from the north as well down here now. Um, three, three offshore wind farms uh, now situated off, off North Wales. I again see some great benefits, not only for uh, the economy, the technology of this, the environment, but actually the, the, the massive amount of community benefit too. And I think this is what we have to think about very carefully about um, the impacts. And, and, and you must hear it a, a lot, because I certainly do, when people say, we love wind power, we love uh, wind technology, but we don't want it here. We want it somewhere else. And I think we've got to have, uh, we've got to get out of this bubble and start to talk to people about how do we engage with people about this is the right technology and the right way we need to move forward. I, as government minister, I I'm, uh, will, be, will be certainly uh, celebrating that message with as many people as I, I can. You know, we have to move into this uh, low carbon uh, environment. So, where we see uh, change in one sector, 
in the industrial heavy industry sector we, we see movement into uh, another opportunity but what we and I believe we must think about very carefully about how do we take them people with us how do we increase the skill base the opportunity for local community for Wales building that better Wales how can we adapt the support to the emerging industries like marine it's great as I said earlier on I, I was on a visit to uh, tidal energy a great example uh, of, of just doing that, working with uh, companies locally, Mustang Marine, Pembroke Port, and many other companies in the surrounding area about developing that technology and moving it forward. A flagship tidal stream project uh, made in Wales, we should be extremely proud. Tidal Lagoon, Lagoon Power is another example of renewable energy uh, offering uh, significant local benefits to uh, the proposal in Swansea Bay. Another, again, very welcome project for Wales. So while I'm still relatively new to the natural resources uh, portfolio, I see absolutely massive potential for marine renewables here in Wales. And this isn't about, uh, one of the, uh, it was really helpful to see Sean's contribution because I think th th there were some questions posed about there about the, the problems we face, are they political, are they financial, uh, are, are they uh, skill-based uh, problems? I think these are really real questions that we have to get underneath and I think um, I have to be open as a government minister but you have to be too and I think the relationships that we build on this is about uh, the end game of being successful. I think we can all be defensive and say we can't do this because of a, a particular reason but we have to think much more clever about that and how we build this relationship and that's why I think the work um, that's done by the MEP and the economic report that's been uh, distributed and, and, and supported gives us some real clear uh, objectives uh, and, uh, and challenges in, 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 uh, in the future. And I think we have to be grown up enough to work together through them challenges. And there will be many of them, I do expect. The report indicates that we, we touched on is, uh, indicates 34 and a half million pounds has already been invested in Wales from marine technology and project developers creating around 170 uh, person years of employment. They are big numbers and we should be uh, very proud, but they could be much bigger too. By your investment, our investment, working together, we can make this happen. We have um, solid foundations to enable our marine sector to grow. And again, I thank uh, uh, you for your commitment in, in ter terms of uh, uh, how you can help us uh, uh, achieve some of our, our, our global targets around the environment which have an indirect consequence of changing the technology we use has a massive uh, 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 economic but also environmental uh, positive effect which I certainly welcome. Much more to be done though and I think um, what I'll be interested in is, is listening to the contributions uh, that, that, are, that are made here today about the challenges you face and I, and I do understand there are, there are many of them but I'm, um, you can count me in you can count me in in terms of making sure that I want to help you uh, understand what them challenges are and how we can help as government to move forward. I am committed to that partnership approach. They're not just warm words. I think we have to take action too. I recognise there are uncertainties and there are risks around consenting the industry and decision makers face when working this. We need to try and de-risk some of that programme. How, how do we get... Um, people understanding how do how do you convince my officials the advice I receive on how and uh, and, uh, uh, and how we can develop this sector that is uh, is deemed as acceptable what what is what are the next steps that we we have to do I recently agreed uh, for my department uh, to co-fund the UK uh, research partnership program working with Crown Estates the Scottish government and other key partners tackling some of them key issues we believe will come through this report in terms of how we can uh, promote and, and achieve excellence in research uh, uh, capabilities here in, in Wales. So we are serious about marine renewables in Wales. We must be uh, serious about this and I can only do that with you. I've committed recently a five million pound catalyst programme set up on a green growth fund for Wales. Uh, once established this fund will help uh, accelerate new renewable energy projects and deliver a green investment in Wales. But £5 million is just the start. We, this, if we get this right, we could be the leaders in, in uh, marine technologies moving, moving forward. I, I, I think we should certainly have ambition and something that I know many of you will share with me. Our, our marine plan 
we'll have to have the long-term outlook and we will look to protect and promote resources in this area. Again, uh, thinking ab about uh, long-term investment is um, something governments uh, of all ilk uh, have not perhaps been the best at in the future and we have to do some long-term assessment planning in, on how we do that. So I'm open to hearing your views, uh, good or bad. Um, I, I really want to work with you in, in the marine sector, ensuring that there is benefits for you, the whole partnership approach, there are benefits for us. The whole new something for something agenda, communities can celebrate with you in the technology that you bring to Wales. So in 2014, we launched the Register of Community and Economic Benefits. I, I would hope that you could all engage in that process um, it, this is a, a just a recording about the good work that you already do in many communities across Wales. And uh, this, is, uh, so, this is so public can access an open and transparent process for people to understand how you do impact in communities on a daily basis. So before I, I finish, I just wanted to say a big thank you. It's clearly um, a, a well attended conference uh, and people are at the, uh, at the front end of delivery uh, for Wales, in Wales, and I'm very proud to be uh, the minister involved in that whole program. I wish you a very successful event today. Um, I'm sorry I can't stay any uh, longer with, uh, for the event, but uh, I know my officials will be taking uh, copious notes and reporting back to me on the, uh, the challenges you face, and I hope to work with you in the uh, future and for a long time. Uh, thank you very much indeed.